Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and today I'm in CorelDRAW X4 and here to demonstrate how to create a printer profile. What I mean by that is, for instance, if you're using different settings for different printers within CorelDRAW versions 12 through X4 only, um, this is a video to show you how to create a profile within that application so that when you're swapping printers that you can give back and forth to the settings for your unique printer, meaning a, for instance an Oki Data versus a sublimation printer, those two settings are those two profiles would not be the same. As you know with an ICC profile here at Condi we do special settings within the application so that you can print your GX7000, uh, 3300, or even your Ricoh printers for DICEUP. And with an Oki Data, you would probably use your default settings or with any other printer that you may have unique profiles for, meaning settings. And what I want to demonstrate, and I get the question a lot uh, right after I set up uh, a printer for sublimation, the question is, how do I get back to my usual settings within Corel Draw? So if I want to print to my other printer, do I need to change my settings? And the answer is yes. So what I want to show you here is how to get back to those settings and make it easier for each time you do change printers, I want to make it easier for you just to go in and choose a setting. So I'm going to show you how to save those settings. So when you open your print dialog box, you can just click and go, or should I say click and print. So let's get started. You're going to go to two different locations, and the first location you're going to go to is under Tools and Color Management. And in Color Management is where we save when we remote in and do your setup or walk you through a setup with your new sublimation system. Uh, if you're a Corel Draw user, um, X4, X3, any of the um, Corel versions from version 12 up to X4, this is what you're going to see under your tools color management. So it's going to look the same. So this video will work for all those versions. Um, X5, X6 will not work the same. So if you're an X5, X6 person, you probably want to look for that video as well. So it's going to be a separate instruction. So this is for X4 to earlier versions up to version 12 Corel Draw. So this is what you'll see under Tools Color Management. So under your settings here you have individual or unique settings uh, or possibly you should if you have a sublimation printer and using the ICC profile you're gonna have a unique setting. We use the Condi GX7000 uh, for sublimation and as you can see when I choose that setting everything changes. So to save that setting, um, you know, we just click plus and it saves. Now to go back to your default settings, what you're going to do is just click down, look for your default settings. If you're using the Oki Data or any other printer to go back to your default settings within Corel Draw, when you switch printers, you just click default settings. As you can see, that changes everything back to the way Corel installed. So not a big deal to switch back and forth, choose this setting, or choose your default setting. So your GX7000 uh, is named after your sublimation settings that we create. And then your default settings, of course, are always going to be there under your, your custom settings in color management. So if we're changing back and pretending we're changing back to this a normal printer, laser printer, for instance, we would just click OK, close it out, so you're back on your default settings. Second, I want to come to File, Print. Here is where you're going to change some things. You're going to choose your printer on your General tab, which is the first thing you'll do. Mine is the Oki C86. Yours might be something like Go Uno, for all I know. But this is where you have your list of printers. So, choosing the C86 again. Now what I want to do is verify that my settings um, are go back to the way I would print under a normal environment. So I'm going to click my miscellaneous tab 
and the printer profile here which pulls in from your tools color management uh, once you've changed that and we did your default profile is your CMYK you don't want to apply anything here that's your default setting so um, with a GX7000 you would see GX7000 here um, and you would apply the profile normal environment no profiles applied so make sure that's deselected under your prepress tab that's where we choose the mirror image now choosing an Oki data if you're doing heat transfer or something else uh, you may mirror you may not mirror but keep in mind you want to choose under sublimation it's going to be mirrored but you probably want to turn this off so mirror the, mirroring the image is not necessary under a normal environment so having changed that setting you want to go back to your general tab now under your general tab this is where you get to save uh, your print style so for this printer I'm going to save a print style which I've already saved but I want to show you how to do it um, and that's by clicking save as now what you would type here or what I recommend you type here is just name your your profile for that printer or your print setting after the printer that um, the model number of the printer that you're going to print to so I've named mine Oki C86 so these are all my save settings uh, unique profiles as you can see I have one for the GX7000 as well and uh, this one says chroma blast mirror so I know that this is um, I've mirrored this this setting for my chroma blast printer so these are my unique settings and also the Corel defaults that works well too under a normal environment you can choose that one uh, so this is how you would save your settings so you're going to name it after your printer model so you just type that in which I've already done and then you're just going to click save it's going to ask me if I want to override it because as you can see I already have it so I'm just going to click no and cancel because I'm I'm okay with uh, with with not overriding it so I'm just going to cancel out and that's how you save a unique setting or a profile per printer in Corel draw versions 12 to x4 so quickly just going back over if I'm printing to my sublimation printer, my gels printer, then what I can do is choose my printer, go to my print style, drop down, and choose my Condi GX7000 setting. Now what that does is it takes me back to uh, all my unique settings within for that printer. So again, um, having to switch back and forth quickly you probably want to create a unique setting under your print style so again that's how you change profiles for individual printers within Corel 12 through X4 so if you have any questions any concerns feel free to give me a call here at Condi Systems my name is Vicki and thank you for your time